Welcome to today's video on what's wrong. I will present you a code that is not working or following the best practice and you need to figure out what's wrong. Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that way you never miss a future notification. Let me switch to today's question. With home controller, we have basic endpoints here. But if I open the application DB context, we have DB set and we are using DB context. Let's say we want to use identity DB context because we want to add the ASP.NET identity inside our project. Doing that is pretty simple. Right here, we will say identity DB context here. Press control dot. Install the ASP.NET core dot identity dot entity framework core NuGet package. Once that is done in program.cs, we need to add identity on the identity user, identity role. Those are the default settings and we will configure DB context to use identity. With that basic configuration, now let's say where we are seeding the data here, let me create one more villa. Let me add a comma here, paste that once again. 5 and royal villa 55. Perfect. Now if I try to add a migration here, seed more villa, we will see an error message. Well, the build failed. Let me see what is the error there and fix that. I have an extra comma here. Let me add the migration once again. And perfect. We have the exception right here. I want you guys to tell me what is wrong in the application DB context here, why we are getting this error message. And it's time for the answer. When we are using identity here, Inside the on model creating, we need to add one more line. Now, if the on model creating was not present, you would have not seen that error message. But because we have the on model creating, we have to pass model builder to the base class that is identity db context. This is needed because keys of identity table are mapped in the on model creating of identity db context. And if this method is not invoked, you will see the error message right here with primary key on the identity user login. With that configured here, if I add the same migration, it will work successfully. And perfect, you can see that works. So when you are using identity here, make sure to have the base dot on model creating if you are overriding the on model creating. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now. That way you will not miss any future updates from .NET Mastery. Mm -hmm.